I'm going to attempt to back carry my two and a half year old, if you'll let me. Look how she's Lovely, Lovely yep. Yeah. On my back. So here we go. First of all, I think I may have said earlier that I'm using a Moby. Well, in actual fact, it's a tri close leg. It is, however, a one way stretchy. Okay. However, you choose to get your baby on your back, it's completely up to you. In this case, I'm going to use <laughs> the Santa Toss. Okay? There's Santa coming. And Santa Toss because Santa's coming, that's right. There's Santa coming. Okay. He's coming. There's Santa coming. Now I'm going to attempt to do a double hammock. Okay. I'm just centering my wrap. Is there Santa coming? He is. It's coming. That's right. It's coming, Mum. It's now, it's very important from back carrying <laughs> that the carrier is tight. <laughs> now, tight, or as I would say, taut, it needs to be really, really tight. Probably to the maximum elasticity of the wrap. Okay. So I'm going to pull. That is really pulled tightly. I'm going to secure it between my knees. First of all, I've made a nice deep seat. And I'm going to bring the wrap around. Jingle bell. does help a lot. Now if you try this with your child and you find that they're a wriggler and they're going to come out of it, then don't do it. Okay? I'm merely saying that it can be done if it's done correctly. Now I'm pulling tight. I'm pulling the wrap till it doesn't give any more and then I'm bringing it round. Okay? Hold that tight. On his back, I'm making sure that it is high on his back. And once again, I'm pulling out any slack that there is. I work with the top first. I use my elbow to really pull back any slack. I can't see a And then hold that between my knees. I can't see a rider. I can't. And I'm going to work on the bottom section. Okay. I think it's mine. I think it's mine. I think it's mine. I'm cut. Now this is going to take time because you are really pulling out any slack there is. I'm cut in the fabric. I'm cut. I'm lying. I'm lying. Once again, I'm pulling to the tightness I can pull. Okay. I'm shimming my shoulders. Make sure there's no give in that fabric. And I'm going to bring it round. And again, checking, pulling, making sure that there's no give in that fabric. Okay. Now, my son is not going anywhere. He feels comfortable. It's not pulling, it's not digging, and I can feel him firm against my back. Now I'm gonna try. My son is not going anywhere. There's no giving the fabric. Are you gonna try and push on my back? Try and push off. He's not a pusher. He's not one to get out of the, out of the wrap, even 
if those passes slipped off and he was to fall out, which you can quite clearly see he's not going to, he can just come up to the floor my to his death. My He'll probably fall back. My the two passes that go underneath the box of the tree. So there you go. You can safely back wrap with a stretchy wrap. It's all about pulling the wrap as tightly as you can. Taking this hole. And then we have it. Back wrapped with a stretchy wrap. Safe. And he's not going.